Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doikin Battle video. In this video we are going to take a look at which free to play units you should focus on as a new player or maybe as a mid level player in DBZ Doikin. So obviously as an experienced or veteran player you've probably farmed all of these units but for new players it can be quite a daunting experience knowing which units to pull, which units to farm, which units to grind, and it can be a little bit daunting. So I'm going to tell you which ones to focus on, and the first ones you should focus on are actually these Magical Girl Fighters units. So the Magical Girl Fighters units, um, we'll talk about them in a little second, but they are going away in two days, and they are really, really good, and you're going to want to really focus on them. So I'll talk you through all the steps, why you should focus on the unit and everything like that, but we're going to start with them. And as you can see, there are a ton of events out right now. The games kind of just opened the floodgates with story events and things like that because of the whole version Z thing. So right now we're going to try and focus on units. There are some units here that you should also get and have easy A areas. They're used for prime battle LRs and things like that. But they don't have their easy A's open right now, maybe they're not as useful right now, the events aren't coming back anytime soon, so you can farm whichever unit. I always suggest farming every free to play unit, but obviously some are just going to be better to farm right now because you're going to feel the immediate, immediate effects at this time. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So we'll start with the Magical Girls Fighters uh, and then we'll kind of get into it from there so the magical girl fighters event this event drops three great free to play units for the pepe girls team and the special pose team and the universal survival saga team all three units are really really good together all three units do a lot of great work and their easy air area is up right now so all of these units uh Kukunsa, rosie and super ribrianne are all fantastic they're all great after their easy A, they link well with each other, they have great synergy with each other, their passives depend on each other. And with their easy A area being up, with the recent easy A to a lot of Pepe Girls units that are eligible for that event, um, you're going to have quite an easy time. And I think they're units that you're going to want to focus on. They're going to do a lot of good work for you. And I just think... They're great for a lot of new players. Uh, not only is Ribrianne also, I think, a 100% Pepe Gals lead, which is great for new players uh, if they're looking to run teams, but also the Pepe Gals is one of the few categories that has a 130% lead on red ticket banners. Uh, and just overall, they have a lot of great options. So picking up these girls and kind of easy aing them in the next two days is a somewhat realistic goal. Uh, and so I think you should really focus on them because that is going to help you like a lot in terms of like how much you're going to manage to get done. Next you'll see all of these uh, Namek events and these kind of uh, events from the download celebration. They have really really good units uh, like this Goku here. The issue is these events do not have their Extreme Z area up at this point in time. So you can farm these units, but you cannot actually Extreme Z awaken them because the area is not up. So you'll be getting some decent free to play units, but they're not going to be nearly as helpful as they would be with their Extreme Z area. So you can technically farm them, but honestly, I think if you are a new player or you're someone that's trying to identify exactly what to farm, you're probably better off ignoring these guys. They're just not that great overall um, considering there's no extreme z area up for them you can use keys to access their extreme z area in future but you can't even access it now because it hasn't been back yet i believe so for me i just don't think it's worth it to farm them rather focus on something else same with the miracle of universe 7 units uh you know there's all of these units here they all have great easy a's all those easy A's you need to run their easy A area, which also features the LR Master Roshi's easy A. Now, you can actually farm the LR Master Roshi if you want to. He is still pretty good without his easy A. He's not tremendous without it, but he's still useful for new players. So you can still definitely farm him, but you're definitely not going to get the same level of benefit out of him. 
you show down the ultimate final battle we'll come back to this event because it's easy a area is not currently up but it will be coming up very shortly in two days so we'll talk about that and why you should farm those units in preparation for there if you don't have them already the great sandman one and two in the casserole are great units but they don't have easy a's and they're very team specific so i don't suggest picking them up along with some of these other units that just aren't so strong the zero mortals plan zamasu is a great pickup even without his ella his ella easy a is not as extreme as master roshi's it makes him go from a average unit to a above average good unit, but he's still really solid for a lot of the game's original content. And if you're someone who's just trying to pick up a time traveler's unit or a evil unit or an extreme strength unit, just to help you out with whatever team you're building, then he's gonna be fine for new players. Then this World Tournament Reborn kind of falls in line with the other Margin Boo Saga events and we'll talk about them afterwards when we discuss the extreme Z area that's going to be returning back but these guys are really really solid um even without their extreme Z awakening so you kind of should be getting them anyway especially this great salmon he is tremendous even without his extreme Z awakening i used him for a ton of content and he gets even better afterwards so he is a powerhouse unit fantastic i really really like him uh always suggest getting him the rest of the units are somewhat not I don't want to say they're bad, they're just not units that are necessary to focus on. Um, you can pick them up at, like, at your leisure. They're not going to make your, you know, no unit makes your box worse. But for me, there's no reason to focus on them at this current point in time. Any other easy A's or prime battles or things like that that are dependent on them are not currently up. And so there's no real reason to. Only unit I want to highlight is Giru Saves the Day. And the only reason I want to highlight him is that he's a Dragon Ball Seeker's support before his Easy A. So he does have an Easy A, but he is a orb generating unit, so he met, he has his own orbs. Much like there's a Goku and Vegito who also have that. Um, and so you don't have to use orbs. And he's actually a great Dragon Ball Seeker support, which is one of the stronger free-to-play kind of missions. This event here is great. All of these units you can pick up. Uh, not only are they usable, uh, but they also get their easy A from a Extreme Z battle, uh, the Broly Sand Outcast Extreme Z battle, and it's open all the time. So grab these event, uh, these units. There's five of them. They're all fantastic, um, especially for new players. They're really, really cool, and they're still relatively good for free-to-play units. Uh, you'll find their Extreme Z battle, Broly the Sand Outcast. It's always open, and it's relatively easy. Uh, especially considering if you bring the units from the events, uh, the movie heroes units, you have a pretty solid team from which to start. Uh, and yeah, it's it's pretty solid overall. Like, uh, there's no real reason not to get them. They're really, really good. Uh, and they can fit a lot of teams. I mean, it's, you know, Realm of the Gods, Goku family, Vegeta family, Pure Sands. And they're still very impressive to this day. The next unit that you can focus on, which I always think is a really cool unit, is the LR Goku Narale. Now you have to do all three of these events. I will leave a link to LR Zamasu, LR Goku Narale, and LR Master Roshi in my description tab. Uh, but you should definitely consider farming these guys. Um, they they like a little bit outdated now, but they're still really solid units and they're not gonna lead you like astray. They are going to augment your box. They are gonna make your box better overall. So now there's plenty of other units to farm. Like I mentioned, there's plenty of great units to farm. Uh, there's plenty of units that'll help out your box. Like these are not the only units you should be farming. If you do not have a free to play unit, you should be picking it up. But I want to just point out units that are useful for the new players or for mid-level players or maybe ones you've just overlooked and so this is raditz as well his extreme z area is not up but he even without it is a decent aoe unit and for people who are link leveling and stuff like that or don't have any aoe units for any world tournaments and that raditz can be even without his extreme z area someone that helps you out a lot i remember running the world tournament before i even had the base form raditz that you see there and I actually wanted to just die. Uh, it was so monotonous, so boring, and Raditz really helped me a lot. He was like the first free-to-play unit where I was like, wow, I actually really need this unit. 
uh, and he can still help out a lot of people even in today uh, especially since you'll more than likely get his extreme z area before the next world tournament so picking him up is pretty useful there's obviously prime metal lrs um which you know you can definitely focus on uh, and you can pick up like the gohan that's currently out um definitely obviously focus on him uh he's really really good and he's a great free to play lr but it can be a little bit difficult especially for new players so if you want to pick up some of the Margin Buu team or things like that to make the grind easier, then now's the perfect time. Because as you can see, the Margin Buu Extreme Z area will be coming back in two days. So that means the Goku, the Hercule, the Oob, the Great Saman, and uh, the um, Spopovich uh, units will be coming back. Uh, will we'll have their EZA up. So if you farm them now if you finish with the Pepe girls or maybe you already have them if you farm all of them now you will be able to uh, save yourself a lot of time and you're going to get some pretty powerful units Goku is pretty useful Hercule is pretty useful Oob's pretty useful Yamu and Spopovich are pretty good as well uh, they help me complete a lot of Earthlings challenges and of course um, the great Saman that I just love is there he's really awesome so powerful against extreme enemies so yeah those i think that pretty much covers it i think that covers every unit i think you should farm i think that's like everything you should be farming everything you should focus on uh and yeah once you've done those units you can just kind of work your way down through the list also take a look at the events because there are a lot of events that are giving out currency for Elder Kai's and things like that. Um, so try and do that as well if you can or if you have the spare stamina. I know a lot of people are enjoying auto leveling and stuff like that. But I think there's something like 12 Kai's through event currency coming up right now. Um, that would yeah kind of benefit a lot of people. I, I don't know about you guys but I definitely need those Kai's. So... Yeah, try and farm those and, and try and get that done. But yeah, but otherwise, leave a like if you enjoyed the video or a comment if you want to know if you should farm anyone else. And I will see you guys in the next one. So until then, take care, stay safe, and as always, bye.